Factors Affecting Reaction Rate You will need Alka-Seltzer A timer You can use your phone Three clean, dry plastic cups Water at three different temperatures Ice cold, you will need ice Room temperature And warm water the warm water doesn't have to be boiling, but it should be noticeably hotter than the room temperature water. Arrange your three cups in a row. Here we have drawn a line at the same level on all three cups. This is to ensure the water level is about the same in all three. Cup A is the ice cold water. Cup B is the room temperature water. And cup C is the warm water. Into the ice cold cup, add the ice and some water and gently swirl to mix. Have your timer ready to start recording and open the first package of Alka-Seltzer. Place one Alka-Seltzer tablet into the cold water and start the timer. When the tablet has completely dissolved, stop the timer. Record this time in your data table. You will repeat the same process for the room temperature and the hot water. Place a single Alka-Seltzer tablet into the cup, start the timer at the same time, and then wait for it to completely dissolve and record the time it took. Determining the effect of particle size on reaction rate. With room temperature water, fill three clean dry cups to the same level with water. It can help to mark a line on the side of all three cups to the same level. The first cup will be testing a whole tablet. The second will be a tablet broken into four pieces, and the third will be a tablet that has been crushed into a powder. You can break the tablet into four pieces by just breaking it in half with your fingers. To crush a tablet into powder, you can place it in a Ziploc baggie and crush it with an object like a coffee mug. Place the whole tablet into the cup of water and start the timer. When it is fully dissolved, stop the timer and record this time. For the second, place all the pieces of the tablet into the cup at the same time and start the timer. Stop and record the time once all of the pieces have dissolved. For the final cup, pour the powder into the cup and start the timer. It may help to have a second person to start the timer right as you add the powder to the cup. Once again, stop the timer once it has completely dissolved and record the time.